Hey, my name is Phil from webautomation.co. In this quick tutorial, I wanna show you how you can use InCharge and Elementor and how you can integrate the two together so you can start sending information from Elementor like forms and you can start sending it into InCharge so you can start creating some email marketing campaigns. Now, once again, to make this work, you are going to need in charge you're also going to need elementor there's links down below if you want to get those two tools and help support the channel plus if you want an extra bonus deal i've also got this collaborational offer that i created with in charge so after your 14 day trial if you want to get 50 percent off your first month's billing then go ahead and sign up using the link in the description it'll take you to this page and you'll see on the screen right now a discount code to enter once your 14 day trial is up so make sure you check it out it's going to save you a bit of cash so let's go ahead and get started now i've gone ahead and created this landing page inside of my website right now now what i want to do is i actually want to integrate this with in charge and i've got here some flows and what i'm going to do in this tutorial is basically connect this form to a brand new flow that we're going to create and i'm going to make it so it works with elemental so the first thing we want to do is come inside of your flows tab inside of in charge then what you want to do is click on this little plus button and click add flow now there's going to be multiple different options inside of here it's up to you if you want to use one of these me personally i like to build all of my sequences out from scratch all of my flows from scratch so i'm going to start blank plus it's good practice if you want to use this tool long term now the next thing we want to do is come down in the triggers tab and look for receive webhook. Now a little pro tip, if you've integrated all of the platforms that you use with InCharge already, you can actually click on this little cog and remove the ones that you haven't integrated with your um, platform. So it just doesn't have it as filled as it usually is. So now that we have that, once again, click and drag on receive webhook and drop it into your canvas flow builder and then what you want to do is click on here to set it up and you'll notice here we've got a few different options inside of it right so we have here webhook url and this is exactly the webhook we're going to need to put into elementor what i recommend you also do is inside name is name the form that you're actually sending from so for this example i'm going to be calling it the elementor demo okay so elementor demo i'm going to copy this webhook here and now i'm going to go to elementor come down here and right click on the form and click edit form now what i'm going to do is rename this to the elementor demo like i have inside of here just to keep everything nice and congruent and then what we want to do is scroll down to actions after submit now once you click on that you'll notice that we've got this little plus button if you click on that it's going to give us some different options now the one we want to use once again is webhook so if you click on webhook we now have a webhook tab added into our tab so what we want to do is click on that and just paste in the webhook like so or you can highlight the entire thing right click and press paste okay so anyway how you want it to get in there then what you want to do is click on update now if you come back to your flows you can go ahead now and click on save and if you click on save you'll see it is now asking for you to action the webhook url right so what this is basically doing is asking for the information up front so you can go ahead and actually map it into in charge to make sure everything is in the right place so what we need to do is come back once again to our form click on this little preview changes button or you can visit the page it all um, goes to the same place and then what we want to do is just put inside here some demo data so i could just say test and then i could just say hello at test.com right and click on download free guide and then once this has been sent i can come back to flows and you will see that our sample has been added right we've got the name we've got the email we've got a form id and we have the form name now i like to have the form name added once again it was inside of the elemental side reason being is i'm going to create a custom um, field so i know exactly where this person came from so i'm going to click on continue and what you want to do is align all of these fields so you can auto map if you want i personally just do it manually so if you're collecting the full name choose full name if you're just collecting first names click first name same with the email just click on it and find the corresponding um, field for it 
I don't usually add anything for this form ID. You can if you want, but I personally don't. And then finally, form name. And what we can do inside of here is you can create your own new field if you want. I've actually created one called subscription form. And what this means is um, where did this person enter their information? And this is going to have a little tab here. So I'm gonna click on save, okay? And now this has been added. Now what I usually do after I have a webhook is go ahead and tag them. Now the reason being is I just want to know where these people come from. So when I go later on into people and have a look at this person, it's actually going to show me the exact tags that they've had. And it's easier to segment with it as well. So I'm going to connect those two. I'm going to create a new tag, right? And as you can see, I've got three tags in here, but none of them are the one that I want. So I'm just going to start typing. So I'll type an elemental test keep everything congruent, click on create elemental test and it's gone ahead and created a new tag, click on save and that is now done. And then what you can do as well, if you want to send an email is go ahead, uh, connect the email step and you can also click on it, choose an email. For this example, I'm just going to choose a random one that's already here just for the sake of completing the automation. Okay. And then that is all done. Now the last thing you need to do is come to the bottom. You want to name your flow. So I usually do it based on the first trigger. So this is elemental test. You can of course name it however you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate the flow. So now this entire flow is ready to go. You'll also notice that we now have some numbers underneath the uh, steps inside of here. And this is going to show you who's currently on the step and who's been through the step already. Now, one of the ways that you'll see this actually becoming more obvious of what it does is when you have wait steps. So if, for example, I had a wait step here of two days on delivery. So let's just say two days. Okay, click on save. Now, every time that someone comes into the step, what it's going to do is it's going to first of all hold them inside this R here for two days and then it's going to put them into were here and then send them down the track. So that's basically what that automation means. Now one little practice I do as well, if you're planning on adding more steps to your flow later, you can always put them in waiting just a little bit longer. And basically what this means is let's just say I've got another email that I want to send a day later. What I would generally do is go ahead, create an email later on. And once that email is complete, I will connect these two together and then I will go ahead and just change this for one day. And then it can go ahead and send that last email. So hopefully that makes sense. But that is it guys, that is how quick and easy it is to add in a, um, uh, integration between InCharge and Elementor. It is extremely fast, extremely easy. And once again, once you've done this once, it's so simple, right? It's literally just get your webhook, go inside of your form, and then add in webhook, add in your, your number there, and job is done. Simple as that. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you want to get in charge if you haven't already i have got that special collaborational offer it is going to save you some money so go ahead and check it out and you'll also be helping support the channel and also if you want elemental there's a link down below as well but that's it from me guys if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up button so i know that you've got value from it if you haven't yet hit subscribe i've got so much great content coming out in the near future including tutorials as well as bonuses and training and finally, if there is some tasks on the internet that you want to figure out how you can actually automate, then let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to go ahead and create a tutorial for you so you can go ahead and solve that problem and start automating your life a little bit more. That's it from me guys. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video.